Thank you so much for joining us again. So if you were watching us before, we had to kind of delete all of our old videos. So we planned on saving X amount of money for the entire year, but within like the last two months, we've been able to, we've only, we're shy $5,000 from our, goal. of our goal, of our yearly goal in two months. Okay, that's, that's pretty big to us, you know. Y'all might be y'all might be big ballers, shot callers, but you know, we just regular little people. Yeah. So anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and dive into the video and I hope that you enjoy. So the first tip that we have for you is not eating out as much. Limiting your spending on eating out. Rather than spending a hundred dollars a week, you spend twenty dollars a week and yes. then you keep trying to minimize that each week to get a low, lower rating. So the key is, you know, wow, the sun is coming. Oh, the sun is <laughs> out. The financial <laughs> gods are talking. More so <laughs> like, you know, you also getting groceries in your house is essential because that way you don't have to worry about spending money out. You can pack a lunch or you can go home if you have the chance to eat on your break or something or just, you know, of course, before you leave out in the morning, definitely, like I said, have your lunch packed already. Or the night before. Or the night before. Get you a breakfast in the morning, fix a bowl of cereal. Oatmeal, smoothies, a, I love smoothies. You know, um, a breakfast, protein bar, you yeah. know, whatever. A sausage and bread, like, you know. Anything that's gonna help you save money. Yes. If you think about it. Mm -hmm. And like one one point that I would like to add is, so when this whole COVID-19 stuff happened and the grocery stores are all wicked and wild, I decided to order from, Wa from Walmart. <laughs> I decided to do a Walmart pickup um, grocery, right? And what I noticed is that it's so much easier to stick to your your grocery list and your budget when you are like online shopping and i know that sounds crazy right but you literally like can go to your grocery list go to the site type in celery i don't know why celery came to my mind but go <laughs> <Celery>. <laughs> type in celery and boom you know you pick celery go to the next item milk boom put your milk put it in the cart and keep it going that way you're not in the grocery store going through the aisles and just throwing stuff throw, throw it in the cart <laughs> And just throwing it like just no, no. And don't go to the grocery store when you're hungry either, because you're gonna buy a whole bunch of stuff you don't even need. And then you go home, you not even feel like cooking it. So don't don't do it. Don't do it. I'm talking to you. But do I will also say though, you know that when we do go to the grocery store, I actually you know will pull out my phone and use oh, yeah. my calculator to keep tabs up on how much I'm spending on the items that you know. We are already talked about getting pride to come to the grocery store. Absolutely. So that's also a way if you do not choose to, you know, go with the Walmart online and you want to go actually to the store, mm -hmm. that's another way to save money because you come up with a budget before you get to the store, whatever store you choose to go to, you already had that budget. So, you know, boom, I got only spend X amount of money. What's our what is, what is our budget usually for the grocery store? Like one fifty. So we try to do one fifty. But you know, give or lately, take. Yeah, lately, our kids are getting older, so now we have to spend about maybe it's like two hundred. Yeah. You know, add about about fifty dollars fifty dollars to that one fifty. And this is bi-weekly. So, we try to, we try to go bi-weekly. Um, but everybody's budget is different, absolutely. you know, because. It depends on how healthy you are too. You know, healthy foods cost more. So actually, it's been costing a little bit more yeah. because my yeah. wife, you know, trying to lose weight, trying to lose weight. You know, she's trying, trying to, to lose get right. weight, trying to get it right for my birthday. But even it's though all be at included home. in a budget. Yes. So know? that means that if our budget, if our grocery budget is going to be a little bit higher, we got to minimize something else. Exactly. Exactly. So that way that we're still staying on that budget and we're still trying to hit that goal. Mm -hmm. So the yearly goal. Yes. So definitely just 
Create a budget. That was, I know. We only gave them one. We only gave them one. We only gave one so far. That's what I'm saying. And I'm trying to tell you, better use it. You should Look, use it. Look, you watching this helpful. on YouTube, this is free. Helpful. This is free advice. Oh, but really? I'm just saying, there are so many free resources on YouTube, and here, we're giving you, we're, we're telling you how we did it. Like, we're not telling you how you can, we're telling you how we did it, and the tips that you can take for yourself. If you don't need it, keep it moving. If you would like to try it, just try it. I mean, just try it. It's money. Just so, number two. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Number two. Oh, it's my turn? It's your turn. <laughs> so, the number two thing that I would say is to be on the same page. Pretty much. Actually, no, we should rewind. The very first tip that we should have gave you was that you needed to create a goal. That's you needed true. to have a goal and you need to have a goal in mind. And I'm not saying that you can't go over that goal. And I'm not saying that if you completely miss the goal, then you're a complete failure because you're a lot further than you were before you started. But you need to have a particular goal in mind. For us, we had our goal. We had it in our mind, we put it on paper, we manifested it, and it's, it's just kind of go from there. So, sorry about that. We should have told you that the number one thing should have been to write your goal down. Um, number two, I guess this is number three now, huh? Yeah. So number three is that you should have somebody to stick with that goal with you. Accountability. Yes, accountability is a big thing. And if you don't have somebody, then you need to be that person telling yourself, no, I don't need to buy this right now. Hold yourself accountable. Yes, because honestly, you can't blame somebody else for your mistakes. I mean, you can, but it's not going to be effective, and it's really not going to change your behavior. It's going to be a revolver around. It's going to be yeah. a revolver circle because at the end of the day, yep. who are you blaming? Yourself. No, you're going to blame everybody else, so you don't have to blame yourself, and then you're going to get mad at the end of the year because you didn't reach your goal. Like, how are you going to get mad at John Doe? Because you didn't reach your goal. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So, there you go. You you have to hold yourself accountable. Yeah. And honestly, it is so much easier if you do have an accountability partner. Like, me and Rakim, we have, you know, we have been hold, holding each other accountable. Not only have we held each other accountable, we also praise each other. And we just keep each other pumped up along the way. Because it does get hard. Like, you're going to yeah. run into times that you're going to want to buy something that you really like. You know? Yep. It, it took me, um, it took me and Lexi a while to actually, you know, get on the same page. As far yes. as, as far as on our financial, financial status. You yes. know, because. I was a spender. <laughs> she likes to spend money and more that so I'm like, ugh, like, but it's, do we really need that right now? Like, Or, um, it's not necessarily that I just so, go blow money on things, but I also like to help people a lot. I have a really big heart, and I'm a tourist, and tourists like to spoil the people that they love. So. She always wants to invest in other people, and yeah. on top of that, just give back to others that need, you know, and every, I feel, me personally, I feel like everybody doesn't deserve to get <laughs> <laughs> like for real, everybody doesn't deserve to get something in return all the time. That's or true. as far as in nah, cut that. You gotta cut that. <laughs> but I just feel like I just feel like that sometimes it's okay to save your money or invest in yourself. You don't always and no, have not it. sometimes, always. You should always, always invest in yourself. That's true. Always, always invest, in, invest yourself. in yourself first. But always glad you realized that now you know but once she stopped spending so much money on others trying to, trying and to buy time we buy put it all money. into you know our family and our investments mm -hmm. it became so much larger mm -hmm. the bigger picture became bigger you yeah. know like like i'm gonna tell you once you hit one of your goals you're just gonna it's like a high like you're gonna always be chasing that high and i don't know how long we're gonna be chasing this for but i just know that we're not stopping anytime soon like you just you just have to start going, especially what's going on right now you know yeah the economy we're, is we're crazy to both be able to still have a job and yeah. so we're, and we're limited not, on what we can do that's not true. that right now you know we want to do anything extravagant but that's a lie we definitely want <laughs> to do plenty of things yeah. but our goals are, are telling more, us that 
Yeah. This is always gonna be there. That's always gonna be there. You know, oh. my wife is more like, you know, her big thing is, and what she's, what's done on me is general wealth. General know? what? General wealth. Generational wealth. Gen <laughs> what did I say? Gen gener gen gener <laughs> general wealth. <laughs> Generation. Okay, that's just gonna be the shortcut. We just gonna <laughs> we gonna call it general wealth. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, my wife has been preaching generation wealth. You know, so it's like yep. that's where you know your parents are gonna be straight, your kids are gonna be straight, their kids are gonna be straight, and mm -hmm. so forth and so forth. You know, it's just you set you set the bar. And like I don't know about y'all, but. I don't want to work for the next 50 years. Like, mm -mm. I did six years in the army. You know, I have a job now. We work now, but I just don't want to work for somebody else for the rest of my 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 youth and life. I just I just don't want to do that. You know. And I'm not. I, I work a nine to five, so of course I'm not talking about anybody with a nine to five. Keep your nine to five, guys. Don't just quit because I said I don't want to work forever. Just don't. Mm -mm. Keep your nine to five. Quit until you don't have to work. Quit until you don't have to quit. <laughs> Work until you don't have to quit. Work until you don't have to quit. I'm just leave me. I'm just messing with you. Uh, I know you ain't gonna cut that out. But yeah, I ain't cutting that out. Cause no, you are gonna cut that out. Mm -mm. They gotta see what I deal with. <laughs> so, <laughs> all Work I'm... until you're able to quit. Okay. And then when you can quit, and don't ask us when to quit, cause we look. We are not gonna be our financial advisors. That is not no. what we're doing, cause we both have our jobs. We have multiple streams of income, but we also still have our nine to five. So we're not gonna tell you to quit if we still working our nine to five. It's just not gonna. Work. Anyway, we getting way, way, yeah, way off talking. We just been talking. We just, been talking, we just been talking. Last but not least, last but not least, live. You supposed to finish it, like below. And I said your, and he said means. Okay. Live. Below. Your. Means. I'm not gonna tell you how many. Live below your means. One more time. For the people in the Live back. Live below your means. Okay. Live below your means, seriously. It is, it is it's easy to do. Once you start to do it, you just have to start doing it. Just live frugal. Live frugal, man, but not cheap. I'm not saying I'm not saying you gotta get off brand everything, cause I understand that it just don't always be the same. And when it gets hard, you know, when you feel you feeling discouraged because you've been putting so much money towards saving, you can reward yourself. Absolutely. You know, it doesn't have to be a thirty thousand bag, a thirty thirty thousand dollar. Gucci bag or Chanel bag, you know that costs four thousand. You could, it could like be some. Right it could be something simple. You had to use that example. It could be something simple. Really? You know, like a nice meal, or <laughs> in my sense, you know, my wife, she's kind of simple. So a vacuum cleaner, you know. Oh, I cannot wait to get a new vacuum cleaner, guys. <laughs> it's just a, it's a reward, you know, but it's. Much more than that because we earned it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you earned it. Once you put in hard work, like so many people want instant gratification, right? So many people want to become rich overnight, right? So many people want so freaking much, but don't want to put the effort into it. Mm -hmm. So even if you were to get it overnight, what's the chance of you keeping it for longer than? 30 days or you hear all the time about people winning the lottery then going broke, you know, you you're not gonna save better automatically because you have more money, you know? So it starts with being able to live below your means, you know? If you're always living above your means, you're never gonna be able to really, truly afford the lifestyle that you really want. And that's just, that's just how it is. It's that's just, just that on that. It is that. And just think about it. The stuff that you want, can it wait a year? Can it wait six months? And I know that sounds like a very long time, but it goes by so fast, guys. Like, just think about the last two years. Think about how much money you done splurged on dumb stuff in the last two years. And think about how fast that time flew. Don't you wish you had that money now? Mm -hmm. yeah. I know I do. I know I do. I blew so much money. For real, but I mean, you know, you live and you learn, so I mean. Absolutely. 
it's either you gonna learn today or you gonna live and then you gonna learn later. Yes. Yes. Hey. Yes. I it's love free. It. It's free gems though. This is just what's working for us. It yes. may not work for you. It's not it may not work for you. Or you can take some of it and tweak it to work for you. Like like I said, we're married, we have two kids. You might not be married, you might not have kids. So of course your budget, your lifestyle, your goals are gonna be different from ours. And don't Thanks. feel like and don't feel like you have to try to keep up with somebody else's life and somebody else's goals. Or that you have to please somebody else because you're never gonna reach your goals trying to please somebody else. Oh, like only try to please somebody else. Don't don't live the lifestyle that other people want you to live. Live the lifestyle that you can afford to live. Okay? And then go down one more. And then that's where you should be. Under what you can afford. Go one step down. Live below what you can afford. Okay? One more time for the people in the back. Live below what you can afford, baby. And make sure that you're around supportive people. If you notice that your friends and your family, you know, don't really like you anymore <laughs> because they just don't understand your goals, who cares? Like, those are your goals. You are going to feel so much better about yourself if you complete and accomplish your goals than if you just try to make somebody else happy, keep your friends happy. And if they really love you like they say they do, they will completely understand what you're trying to do with your life like anything better in your life you should have support from the people that so-called say they love you and that's all we have for you yeah that's all we have so let us know if you have any questions thank you so much for watching our youtube again we will definitely be back we're gonna be more consistent we have so many gems to talk about we have so many experiences that we would like to share we just want to help we just want to give back and it's free. You did. All right. Until next time, make sure you follow us on social media. I'll let you hear us. Hit us. Make sure you follow us on social media. You can follow me on Instagram, Alexis SH. You can follow King Kadeem. And you can follow me on Twitter. I like to talk about budgeting, finance, investing, and tech. And you can follow our family channel on IG at Hey Harris Family. Yes, yes, yes. All right.